The School Nurse from the Black Lagoon, written by Mike Thaller, pictures by Jared Lee. There's supposed to be a nurse at school. No one's ever seen her. At least, no one that's ever come back. They say her office is behind the principals. Her name is Miss Hearst the Nurse, and she's supposed to be a real ghoul. All around her office are supposed to be dripping color pictures and see-through statues of body parts, eyeballs on rubber bands, heads filled with brains, and bodies stuffed with everything else. She's also supposed to have a skeleton hanging in the corner. They say it's a kid who went there with a stomach ache. She cured it all right. She never leaves her office. She must eat lunch there. They say she's always ready for any emergency. Once, a kid got cut in half using the paper cutter. They say Miss Hurst gave him a Band-Aid and sent him home. Another kid got run over by the VCR cart and was flattened. Now he's the rug in her office. You don't go there unless you're really sick. And she knows if you're faking. She has a thermometer the size of a flagpole, it can read the temperature in your toenails. She has tongue depressors as big as surfboards, so you should only go there with major afflictions. Then there are the tests. She measures your height against a wall chart, and if you're too short, she stretches you on the rack until you reach the line. Then, you have the eye chart. If you can't see the big E, she uses your eyeballs for billiards balls. And then after that, there's the hearing test. If you don't pass, she puts your ears in her jewelry collection. Next, there's vaccination. Her needle is so long, she can vaccinate six kids at once. It's sort of like a shish kebab. And then there's the ice. If you fall down, she puts you in the freezer. Some kids take all summer to thaw out. There's also the cot. The mattress is filled with bricks and the pillow is filled with rocks. And the, pl the blanket is made out of sandpaper. On the first day of school, Penny Weber went there for a nap. She hasn't straightened out since. Eric Porter went there with a toothache. Now we just call him gums. Freddie Jones went with a sore throat. Now his head is attached directly to his shoulders. Uh-oh, I'm breaking out in blue dots. They're all over my hand. I must have leprosy. My hand will fall off. I better go to the school nurse. I walk into her office. Freddie Jones is taking a nap. Either that or he's dead. Miss Hurst is sitting at her desk. Hmm, she looks pretty normal. I show her my hand. She wets a paper towel and gently rubs. The blue dots disappear. She asks to see my pen. I take it out of my pocket. She shows me where it's leaking. She smiles and gives me a new one. She pats me on the head and tells me I'm welcome to visit at any time. I go back to class and write her a thank you letter with my brand new pen. That end.